She's amazing. She makes the women I dream about look like short, fat, bald men. Go over to her. She's not with anyone. Oh, yeah, right. And what would my opening line be? Excuse me. <laughs> Come on, she's a person. You can do it. Oh, please, could she be more out of my league? Ross, back me up here. You can never get a woman like that in a million years. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> always see these really beautiful women with these really nothing guys you could be one of those guys <laughs> you could do that okay? thank you yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely oh god i can't believe i'm even considering this i'm very very aware of my tongue come on come on <laughs> here goes stand back everyone incoming ego shrapnel <laughs> all right i can do this yes hi um <clears throat> okay, next word would be uh, Chandler. <laughs> Chandler is my name, and uh, <clears throat> hi. Yes, you said that. Yes, yes, I did. But what I didn't say was what I was about to say. What I wanted to say was, uh, would you like to go out with me sometime? Thank you. Good night. <laughs> Chandler. She said yes. She said yes. Oh! Awful play, man. <laughs> Her name's Aurora, and she's Italian, and she pronounces my name Chandler. Chandler. <laughs> I think I like it better that way. I can't believe I've been here almost seven seconds, and you haven't asked me how my date went. All right, yeah. great. How was your date, Chandler? <laughs> it was unbelievable. I, I've never met anyone like her. She's had the most amazing life. She was in the Israeli army. Luckily, none of the bullets hit the engine block. So... We made it to the border, but just barely, and I, I, I've been talking about myself all night long. I'm sorry. What about you? Tell me one of your stories. All right, once, <clears throat> once, I got on the subway, right, and it was at night, and I rode it all the way to Brooklyn. Just for the hell of it. <laughs> we talked till like two. It was this perfect evening, more or less. All of a sudden, we realized we're in Yemen. Oh, I'm sorry, so we is? We would be me and Rick. Who's Rick? Who's Rick? My husband. Oh, oh so, so you're divorced? No. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, so you're widowed? Hopefully. No, I'm still married. So uh, tell me, how do, you, how do you think your husband would feel about you sitting here with me? Sliding your foot so far up my pant leg, you can count the change in my pocket. <laughs> Don't worry. I imagine he'd be okay with you because really he's okay with Ethan. Ethan? There's, there's an Ethan? Mm, Ethan is my... boyfriend. What? <laughs> so explain something to me here. Um, what kind of relationship do you imagine us having if you already have a husband and a boyfriend? I suppose, mainly sexual. Huh. Oh, I'm sorry it didn't work out. What not work out? I'm seeing her again on Thursday. Didn't you listen to the story? Didn't you listen to the story? I mean, this is twisted. How could you get involved with a woman like this? Well, you know, I had some trouble with it at first, too, but the way I look at it is I get all the good stuff, all the fun, all the talking, all the sex, and none of the responsibility. I mean, this is every guy's fantasy.